So as a board certified plastic surgeon, we are under strict rules and guidelines. Our society does not let us operate in a facility that isn't regulated by one of the regulating bodies, Quad ASF, AAA, AAA HC, or Joint Commission. When you are committed to that kind of quality, you are looking at everything as a surgeon because you're also part of the ownership of whatever, whatever accreditation body that comes in. You know what they're going to do, you know what they're going to ask, and they do it for a reason. They do it because it's safe. Uh, we don't operate unless it's safe. We don't operate unless we think it's a good thing to do to the patient, and ultimately it's going to be for the patient's well-being. So a tummy tuck candidate should be between 30 to 50 pounds of their goal weight. So let's say you're 400 pounds, you're not nowhere near a goal weight. So find out what your ideal body weight is. Let's say you're 250 pounds and you want to be 170. You should be about 200 to start this, this process or less. And the, the more you lose, the more skin you have. So it's better for both of us. Less complications in surgery, less complications in anesthesia better overall outcome. So in Texas, I'm one of the few that does these, it's called a super mommy makeover. Uh, it's great because you're under one anesthetic. Uh, most people are happy they did it, uh, but there is some downtime with it. So a super mommy makeover is a tummy tuck with a BBL plus or minus something else like a breast dog or a breast dog with lift. Is a longer surgery, but with proper safety precautions, you should be okay. You need to take off three to four weeks of anything you're doing. Don't 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 uh, handle animals or pets. Don't take care of children. Make sure you have somebody at home that is family or that is willing to be there for you. I do not like to hear my ex this, my ex that, or, or a cousin from, a long lost cousin. I wanna see somebody who's going to be there for you for the first three to four weeks. It is a, it's a grueling post-op, but once you're through it, you're very happy. I would say, I don't let people drive until the drains come out, which is typically around two weeks for a tummy tuck. We don't use drains in a BBL. We don't use drains in a breast dog. So the tummy tuck is probably what's going to keep them from driving. Because you know, when you're out there, and if you were to get into a car accident, it would be, it would be mildly uncomfortable. So the premium price of a super mommy makeover is because we've shortened your recovery time. From two recoveries spaced six weeks apart, to one recovery. That's worth a lot of time because you can never get back time. Uh, so, and also my techniques with the people that I work with uh, have come far enough that I can do these procedures quickly and reduce your time under anesthesia. And remember, we're talking safety. You cannot put a price on safety and experience.